Hello, this is Patricia Brooks, and this is Courage Concept number 24. Go back to basics and you will move ahead. The other day I had tea at a British couple's house here in France, and our conversation went to learning a foreign language, learning French, and how difficult that can be even when you are living in a country that speaks that language. And as we were discussing ways to make it easier, I was reminded of a conversation I had with a Russian friend I'd met in French class two years ago. After class, we would go on walks together and we would speak in French from time to time. One day we were talking and I was trying to communicate something to him in French to practice. And I was struggling so badly. And he stopped me and he said, Patricia, you know, it might be easier for you to communicate in French if you were to break down the sentences into their very basic form. And he is fluent in English and, of course, Russian, and his French was really pretty good then. So I thought his advice might be good. And so I tried it. And in doing so, I was able to feel more confident in expressing myself. And that allowed me to take some of the stress off of myself to have to communicate in the complex way that I communicate in English. The other thing he suggested was that when I was struggling to find a word and that I didn't know was to stop struggling and just describe what it was that I was trying to, to say, much like a child would. And I used that technique as well. And that was pretty powerful too. This concept to go back to basics and you will move ahead goes to the catalyst for cultivating courage that is building self-confidence because when you break something down into its simplest form to learn it and it is easier then you feel better about yourself and you see your progress and you build your confidence and when you build your confidence you're encouraged and you continue to do the work. I am in the process of writing my third book. Its working title is My Second Childhood. And as I sat down to start writing this and write out the outline, I knew that I wanted this book to be even better than my first two. And so I decided to take a creative nonfiction course in order to make it better. And I'm learning so much. But the instructor goes back to the basics. She talks about basic sentence structure. She talks about basic who's your audience. She talks about perspective and choosing perspective and being intentional. And being in this course has allowed me to go back to basics and think about how words are put together to form a sentence, to form an effective sentence. And so I know that this will help make my writing even better in this book the best one yet. This concept is powerful and I'd like for you to be able to use this in your daily life. So I'd like to help you create a trigger so that you are reminded of this concept. The first question I have for you is I'd like for you to write down the feelings you experienced uh, during a time when you were learning something new and you were struggling and you felt frustrated and it wasn't going as quickly as you would have liked. What were you feeling? Write those down. Question number two is what way or ways could you have broken down what you were learning into a more simplistic form so that it would be easier for you to digest and learn and so that you could see the progress more readily? And number three is really just a reminder to the next time that you are learning something new or maybe even just trying to improve upon something and you have these feelings that you wrote down in number one, I want you to stop and remind yourself that if I go back to the basics, I will move ahead and break down what you're trying to do into its most basic form. That's courage concept number 24. I will see you again next time. Bye for now.